energy forecast for February. And before we start with Feb, let's just take a little look back uh, to December, particularly late December. So we were closing off 2021 and uh, on Christmas Eve, we had this Saturn Uranus square energy and it, it provided tension around that Christmas time. And you would have felt that sense of restrictions and like you just um, feel squashed and squelched. And then because of all the global situation, there's that idea of freedom being tested, uh, which is sort of an ongoing theme anyway, isn't it? But as well as your values, because uh, around December 19th, Venus was in retrograde. And, you know, we associate Venus with, you know, like love, basically, right? Love, beauty and all those good things and values. And being in retrograde from late December right through the whole of January now, so moving into January, there's this whole overarching theme of re-evaluating what is true and real for you. And, of course, I'm adding information here. I'm not an astrologer, I just sometimes um, pick up on key points and um, and then I just go from there and see what comes through intuitively and sometimes I don't mention astrology at all. Um, so this idea of re-evaluating who we are, where we are going, who's around us and are they really integral to our self-growth and development or not? So your own sense of values, what's true and real for you, what is a good friendship, a relationship, who and how do you want to be around people and them, you. So there's this questioning of relationships and a questioning of self and other and boundaries. So I'm finding that this sort of issue and subject of boundaries has really come to the fore where um, and you might feel now it's a little bit not as important but coming through uh, late December we experience that tension and then into January where you're exploring and reflecting on this um, and through your experiences and that as being a bit of a theme and a backdrop that I feel for empaths and energy sensitives is so vital this year and early in this year is really getting in touch with what is important to you and what isn't and what you can and can't be around and who and to what level. And so the the subject of boundary is even just more inflamed to the point that we are growing, we are evolving, we feel from deep within us. We've felt this through January, this sense of um, moving into another dimension almost but at the same time being really unsure and uncertain on what the heck is going on and like you can never get there so you're like in this in-between zone right and so sometimes over the years if you've been listening to my energy um, updates um, every now and again not so often but I talk about this kind of transitional period and I recall in the past it being analogized by the angels and they bring it up again as being like an airport lounge and you're in between flights, you're in transit, right? So that very image is coming to me now. And you're in transit, but then you realize, I don't know what plane I'm waiting for. And is the plane even coming? And which plane do I hop on? And it's not really clear to you and you're not being communicated to, <laughs> which they remind me. So Mercury was in retrograde also. And that's where we um, often can experience this kind of communication issues Um in different ways whether it's through technology or people or whatever um, and so when you're in transit and you don't know anything about your flight and you're just waiting and sitting in this sort of no man's land that's what it can feel like and the angels say there are going to be periods coming up with that too sort of March April with this other energy that will be coming in but it will be a different feeling it will feel kind of um ethereal quality to it and so um, it will be experienced very differently kind of like in a dreamlike state um, but as for January it was a matter of seeing who and what holds you back keeps you suffocated presses you down um, and or just like disrupts your day and your energy field and and really stops you just 
feeling free and easy? Do you want to feel free and easy or do you want to feel uptight and restricted and go through all these issues that we can have with people? Sometimes it can just be, for example, a friend that you see sometimes, but you realize, you know what, I'm not really enjoying this communication or when we see each other, it's all about them. <laughs> oh God, that is a common theme, isn't it? Um, and um, they're not really turning into you or you just send a one sentence message and you get paragraphs in return. So um, it's really redefining what's important for you and what you need because dear empaths and sensitives, you've been so there for other people. And you're burning out. Like literally the angels showed me, I looked into the candle flame and they showed me that sense of burnout. You've been burning out and burning, they say, are the wicks at both ends, right? And so eventually that candle will mount and that wax into nothing and all you'll have left is a mushy pile of uh, misshaped wax <laughs> that hardens, right? And do you want to be that energy blob or do you want to be that beautiful blazing candle or even a nice still calm candle and that's what they're bringing you to this year i just feel so much for this year but i'll talk about 2022 in general in um, other videos so look after yourself and what's important to you and really work on any issues that come up so notice what issues come up when you do think about and talk about boundaries think about them to yourself uh, such as guilt would be a big one and really come from a more deeply intuitive, calm perspective where you really get a sense and feel for what is right for you. So in late December also, we had Jupiter entering Pisces and Jupiter is just this really big planet with this, this beautiful expansive feel. And when we talk about energy, when you feel the most open and good, you're expansive, right? Uh, you're like um, stretched out and relaxed and, and big in goodness, wholeness. And when you feel restricted, which would be more like a Capricorn kind of satin energy, it's uptight and restricted and very 2020. <laughs> so where Jupiter was in Capricorn. So uh, we're having this Jupiter and Pisces as this major sort of backdrop energy from late December, um, coming right through um, into May and then it will come back again in the last few months of the year and so this really is this feeling of expansion expanded spiritual self intuitive reflective dream state self um, and but if you're not in that intuitive awareness mode where you are switched on and receiving downloads and information and and really um, experiencing it in that higher way then you could be experiencing it rather in that more deluded way where you feel foggy and confused and like what I talked about that transit lounge before but that more expanded feeling of the unknown which can bring up fear and anxiety and pain in that way or you might fluidly kind of come in and out of both um, so that's really interesting as a general backdrop um, you know for the next while and in January I really felt a lot of light coming in and you might have experienced days where you felt that more uh, like in a, in a positive way where you felt like just like better and, and having a bit more fun and really expanding yourself and feeling like a, there's a you know less dense right and more light or if you were carrying a lot of density still, it's like your stomach is churning like an ice cream churner and you had a lot to process and work through still, so it was stirring up within you. But there was um, and has been a series of reality shifts and so this might switch on a light for you where it's like someone just turned, um, flipped the switch and it was a whole new script and a whole new reality and scene. Um, so sometimes it feels like what the hell is happening like what where am I it's like you're in another dimension and so all of a sudden everything just looks a bit different or feels a bit different uh, which can be a bit head spinning and which is why also it's so important during these sort of periods in general but especially when you have that high, higher spiritual energy and light coming in or when we have this sort of this this expansion of Jupiter and all the sort of and the Pisces um, dreamy intuitive um, spirituality 
that's really calling and being in the upper chakras we really need to remember to keep grounded and to be in our lower chakras anchored to bring in that light and to experience the higher dimensions in a much more grounded holistic way and be able to integrate process and embody the energy rather than floating around in cyber space in um, in the etherics and so uh, so there's this readjustment period of you starting to think that Uh, of new like what new do you want in your life so I talked before about your values and boundaries and other people and just your own habits and vibes what vibe do you want to be and I know we can't always perfectly be what we want and it doesn't work that way there will be ups and downs it's natural and nature and we go with those flows and seasons however in general what is the vibe you want to bring into your home and to yourself and the people around you and if you feel like there's friction and like a staticky energy um, with others or other situations or, or whatever it's like how can you move away from that or just uh, respectfully decline things or look after yourself more because you've so been looking after others and Really, no one or not many are going to be doing the same for you. So it's readjusting how you look at things. And also as an empath and energy sensitive, where, you know, as an earth angel, where are you dedicating yourself? How and to what level? How much time are you truly going to put into and effort and energy other people's situations? And is it really warranted? Do you, do you need to? Because um, sometimes people are going through some you know um, bad things and yes it's it's nice to help and at other times it's like well hang on let's step back a bit maybe there's somebody else that can do that and that's been a hard lesson for us to learn because we've been burnt out too many times over the years by outstretching ourselves and that's also a big theme for 2022 which you'll see in um, a different video so it's really important to sort of get that sense of self at the beginning of the year straight (laughs) so get yourself straight Um, if I go through I just pulled out a couple of oracles cards for each month from December through to Feb so in December it was about opening up your heart and really preparing yourself because the other card says birthing a new age so it was dense and constrictive and busy being that Christmas period Um, but this sense of if you opened your heart at Christmas time and around other people and you sense of preparing New Year's Eve and into the new year of January for this new wave, these new waves of energy. And as I say that new wave, they're playing on that idea of new variants of illnesses, um, but also the and new you know, waves of restrictions, but new waves of energy, right? They're making a joke now. Some people use the term new age and they're saying new wave. <laughs> okay. Um, and they make a joke again now angels are funny they br- uh, they bring about the image of someone getting a blow wave <laughs> so and like a new wave and like how that feels so there's a sense of upgrade changing your um, image changing yourself from the inside out so but it's very internal even though they show the external through the blow wave they really show me it's an internal change like a blow wave and like a uplifted blow wave and they now joke around like um, there's the medium um, Teresa Caputo who's the Long Island medium who's quite well known she's a really high high hairdo or for anyone that relates to that notion of the high high hairdo because um the the height of your hair links you higher with god and really that's about the crown chakra in the hair and actually i have an article about hair and spirituality that i'll be putting forward um, at some point um which is really interesting so they're showing me the higher your hair the higher the connection to god well think of it as your internal self as growing expanding like the jupiter expanding expanding out in bubbles higher higher outer outer Um, up to God right but they're saying when you get your hair done your hair cut you're sitting on a chair and your feet are firmly implanted to the ground Um, you're not um, hovering around in hyperspace okay so um, in in January there's that feeling of um, being centered with yourself and I hope that you had some time of inner reflection there and mindfulness there was also that that sort of feeling of longing for home where is home that real sense of connection of soul and soul emerging so i really feel there's an extra message soul emerging this year in 2022 really at the beginning and and it's grumbling inside you or it's or it's smoothly kind of sinking in with you and that feeling of your belonging and your role and do your claiming your birthright as a light worker as a whatever term that you resonate as a soul person spiritual person and now now moving into february 
um, there's that notion of really um, writing down and reframing things what do you want to do now because mercury now has moved out of retrograde um, from around feb 3rd um, so we're still in a couple of weeks of that shadow phase but by about another 10 days it's going to completely be gone but anyway at the moment we're in that forward stage so um, it's time to write out your wishes your lists like really sort of reframe what it is that you want and count your blessings and have that sense of gratitude but also lighten yourself up and you'll feel that so sort of that expansion really matches upliftment and lightness so playing and having a laugh and having a bit of fun and being creative and that kind of thing just bringing in a little bit of that energy to help open things up for you and they're saying it's like if they want to pour um, light into if you were a bottle and they wanted to pour light into you but if you were all clogged up with sand and mud <laughs> it wouldn't be able to get through and they're saying that play and laughter and lightness and expansion moves the energy through and allows it to come through and that's why the grounding is important too to allow that uh, the old to dissipate and the new to come in and for and then you need that integration process and they're saying that integration process may have felt like a long time or a long time coming or or you know it's like I'm all I'm constantly processing and upgrading and going backwards and the going backwards feels bigger than the forwards and um but you know it's it's they're showing me it's just there's still a time of process integration so that's important but when you're conscious of it you can really move and be and breathe on another level and really enjoy that so coming up on feb 11th and 12th um there's this conjunction with pluto um that will be happening uh, which is interesting and there was one and i can't remember when sometime in december and jan i think or whenever it was but there's this feeling of um with that that as you learn through your communication and miscommunications and sort of rewrite your story Pluto has that sort of can bring in an intensity but also transformation and then rebirth and, and death and all those kinds of powerful themes and so what is what chapters are you wanting to close and what doorways are you wanting to open and it's providing you that space to really get clear and ask yourself and go deep within really be honest with yourself what is it that you desire what do you want to change what have you learned and where are you going because it's really this year is have a feeling of a new you birthing and emerging but it really is up to you to allow and allow it seems to be a big word right now so let me say that to you allow be in that state of allowing it's a process allow yourself to go there allow yourself to open up allow yourself to be who it is that's that's birthing you know within you and with that sometimes fears come up but the angels just show you know to be gentle with yourself through this process there's an interesting, um, you know, um, well-spoken event uh, that lots of astrologers are talking about on Feb 20th, which is a big day in general because uh, you'll see in my other and another video I'm making on 2022 of the numerology and so on. There's so many twos, right? So there's a big play on the twos. So just like February 2, February 20 and February 22, there's so many twos, February being a two month. So February 20 would be, for example, 2, 20, uh, 2022 so lots of twos a couple of zeros there so it's actually then the Pluto return in the USA so Pluto's coming back um, into the USA um, and it was last there on July 4th 1776 where the Declaration of Independence is signed as all of you um, US people will know um, and so this is really major it's major for the states and it, it's it's to do with all the background energy of everything that's been going on and the powers that be. I'm getting goosebumps right now and shivers about it. Uh, for me as well, I really associate that time, I think it was that year, when a particular group of secret society, I won't say the name, was formed. It starts with the letters I-L-L. -L. And so that's coming up to me on the side as well. It's kind of on the side, but associated. So look out for symbols, numbers. You might see the number 911, any kind of symbols or symbols. If you're aware of those kinds of things, just notice them. Okay, it's all part of this. Um, maybe the number 322. Um, 
um, any images of like a sort of like part the pirate image. I won't say it exactly, so I'm just talking in a code here. Um, but there's this feeling of death, rebirth, transformation, like regeneration. But it's all about also systems and power and destruction and scandal and uprising and you know, for me, it's really like a feeling of insurrection. So think about the the convoys and the the protests and the you know the people having enough and and the calls for freedom and the clashes between individuals and nations and um you know um political bodies and groups and <laughs> apartheid and everything just um being so much division and they're saying revision of the notion of division that's sweet <laughs> so um revision of the notion of division thanks angels so um, it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out um, and just the importance of it because, you know, that the patriotism and the and the unpeeling and unraveling of history and truth and power and deception and government and all those things. So um, that will be very interesting. And I really look forward to March update. Um, actually we'll talk more about this kind of the more mystical um, aspects so um, so that won't be too far away all right everyone I'm going to send you lots of love and also invite you to my new Facebook group that I formed um, just a couple of months ago um, just before Christmas and it's called uh, spiritual development for empaths and energy sensitives and the link it will be below this video and uh, it's a Facebook group so um, you're welcome if you feel like you're an empath or energy sensitive and you're on the spiritual journey uh, and it's just a really safe group to discuss and share and connect with others and I'm going to be having um, so Facebook has rooms so I'm going to try out this room thing which is like a zoom um, and to just connect with people and just say hello and share stuff and maybe talk about different spiritual things and themes over the you know over time so um, so I'd love you to join and connect with me more deeply there and also it's your chance to be able to ask questions and uh, when you um, apply to come into the group there will be a couple of questions which are optional and you can just ask you know what you want and uh, over time I'll be making videos and, and addressing some questions from people so uh, so I'm just extending my invite to you. All right, beautiful people, speak soon. Lots of love.